Seven o'clock by our watches, we'll start our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. This is Rome has offered to lead us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The next item on the agenda is our minutes. Looks like we have three sets of minutes, starting with uh, the minutes from our regular meeting on March 6th. Anybody have any questions, comments? Move that we approve the regular meeting minutes for March 6th. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right. The next set of minutes is those for March 9th. Any Move. questions, comments? Sorry. Go Sorry, ahead. I was waiting for you. Go ahead. Uh, Move that we approve the meeting minutes for the regular meeting of March 9th. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? I'll abstain. I wasn't scared. Okay. Fred abstain. And then the last set of minutes is from our workshop minutes on March 13th. I move that we approve the minutes from the workshop meeting on March 13th. Second the motion. Any comments? All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We'll have this, the 16th at our next April 3rd meeting. Just okay. the turnaround time is too short. Okay. All right, I think that was unanimous ayes, no nays, no abstentions. Next item on our agenda is our standing appointments. We're kind of thinning these out a little bit. Peggy, do you have any recommendations? No, nothing this week. Okay. Our old business um, consideration of uh, Friends of Holcomb Farm bylaws. <coughs> This was on our agenda last time, but um, we tabled it to give everybody a little more time to look at them. And then there was one additional change, which I think is on page five, I believe. Section 3.3. So. Everybody comfortable? Yes. Before I take a motion, just a, a couple of things. Um, first, our, our backup says that the Friends of Hope and Farm has already approved the attached. Jenny, that's not quite accurate, right? Have you approved the? It, it is accurate because they had a meeting just last Monday, and we added the additional change in that you wanted. So the version you're looking at has been approved by the recording stopped. Okay, we'll pause for just one second. Sorry, we're just having technical difficulties. Oh. Can people hear? Recording in progress. Um, no, people cannot hear. And the video will not work either. Oh. Hmm. Is this something you can fix if we took a five minute break? Or um, what, do you, what do you want us to do? It's possible. Should right. we try? Anybody have an objection to like a, a five minute break and let them? I think last time this happened, we rebooted the whole thing. That's what I was going to. All right, let's take a list. Any objection to a five minute break? Okay. We'll do that. We'll come back in five minutes. All right. We are going to proceed without Zoom. We can't seem to fix the technical difficulties. So anybody who was watching on Zoom and has switched over to a live feed, we uh, apologize for the inconvenience. Uh, we were just starting the discussion on the open farm bylaws. Um, Jenny, will you come to the mic real quick? I, I have a quick question, but maybe others. So again, thank you for all the work you guys are doing and for the work on the red line of the, the bylaws. I have one question in the new section that you guys uh, drafted on the ex officio member. It says such, the second sentence says such member if appointed shall participate. Oh, oh, Do you guys have any objection to that being May? May is fine. 
Anybody here have any objection to that being May? Nope. No. All right. Those are my questions. Anybody else have questions or concerns? Um, I just have one comment um, on page 10, section 6.2. Um, the sentence that contains independent certified public, you struck out accountants, and I think that probably was accidental. It, it, yeah. It starts, it says audited by an independent certified public. Oh, and, and the accountant, and the accountant is, okay. is. That, that would be is, an error. We should fix that, yeah. yeah. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Okay. I, um, so your motion could include, uh, presume to include those two corrections, which I will get to the town. Let's let's see where we go with that. If there are no, is, are you, uh, yeah, everybody okay. else good? I'm fine. Okay. I would be happy to accept a motion to approve those changes with those changes. If that makes sense. I'll make a motion to approve the revised bylaws of Holcomb Farm with the changes we noted and authorize the town manager to execute any documents and necessary requirements to enact the revised bylaws. Second. All right. Any other further discussions? All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Thank you, Jane, for Thank coming you. back a second time. Appreciate it. All right. Next item on the agenda is the path pollinator pathway sign contest. Mr. Roberts, are you going to do this yes, sir. for us? Good evening, members of the Board of Selectmen, staff, and Granby residents. My name is Dave Roberts, and I'm the chair of the Granby Conservation Commission. For those that don't know, the Granby Conservation Commission was established by ordinance. It's a commission that consists of seven members. We have two other commissioners here with us tonight. We have um, Kara Marshall and David Desiderato. And the purpose of the commission is to formulate policies governing the preservation and protection of the town's natural resources. Last year, members of the public asked us to look into an initiative called No Mo May. While the initiative had both pros and cons, one of the things that the commission learned was the importance of pollinators to our community. We also heard from neighbors who asked about ways to promote pollinators in our community so others would understand why someone might be planting wildflowers in their currently green yard or um, why they might not be mowing for an extended period of time. So thus the idea of the yard sign contest emerged. And our goal was to involve the entire community in designing a yard sign that could tell a message be understandable and support the concept that Granby is a sustainable community. 17 residents submitted entries. Our youngest entry came from uh, an elementary school student and our oldest um, submitter was an artist who happens to be a senior citizen. The commission met and reviewed all the submissions carefully and after much discussion, the commissions um, unanimously selected Um, the submission <laughs> by Griffin Caro. We're going to unveil this. This is Griffin's submission. And, um, and let me just tell you a little bit about our winner. Um, Griffin is a student at Grevy Morrill High School. He is a junior. He is also a student at the Greater Hartford Academy of Arts half-day program as a musical theater major. <coughs> and for those that don't know, the Greater Hartford Academy is a correct magnet school that places an emphasis on using the arts as a tool for intersectional social activism. And we asked him what his plans were, and he tells us that he wants to plan to pursue a bachelor's in fine arts and musical theater. And we said, why did you enter this contest since this was the first time that we had done something like that? And he said, I entered the contest because I've always been passionate about environmental justice and taking steps to live in a more sustainable way for our planet. Making change starts with raising awareness, and I thought these signs would be the perfect way to achieve that. But instead of me telling you about Griffin, we're really pleased. He has got, gotten out of a rehearsal for a play to be here. We were, we were sweating to make sure he got here. He's here with his stepdad. And Griffin, why don't you come up and just tell the board and the community just a little bit about yourself and why you thought that this was uh, a great design for our contest. 
Hey, let me, while Griffin's talking, why don't we put that here so the camera can see it, so people at home. Thank you. Hi, thank you for having me. Um, I heard about this through my environmental science class at Granby. Um, we were talking a lot about pollinators. We had a whole unit where we would go and do labs at Holcomb Farm, um, talk about really the local environment and also the environment at large. Um, I've always been passionate about environmental justice, but um, the class I'm taking at Granby really got me inspired to take some more action. Um, and I'm really honored to be here as a high school student and someone of Generation Z because we're inheriting this beautiful planet. And so I think for us to take steps um, at protecting it is really important. So. So not only does he get bragging rights, so when he sees these around the community, but this contest was entirely funded by the commissioners themselves, and so you get a sign, and anybody else can have one for $5. <laughs> and then you also get this wonderful plaque. Beautiful. Congratulations, you. um, you're the winner of our contest. You get a $50 um, Visa gift card. And when we see Commissioner Zach, you're going to get a packet of wildflower seeds for the Friends of the Granby Wildflower Meadow. So, but we're really thrilled. So we hope to see, so tell people, I think we have 100 yard signs, you said? Something like that, 100 yard signs, and we love the colors, we love what you came up with, and you really, it was a unanimous vote of the commission, so congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Jeff, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'll have a question, I always do. Oh, sure. <laughs> Does anybody else have any other questions or thoughts? No. I just have a question on what medium you use to make this. Um, is it computerized? Is yeah, it it's all digital. No. Um, I use a platform called Canva, and it's just a really... We love Canva yeah, here, too. Yeah, yep. really easy platform. So how do I buy a sign? Oh, you can't get one. <laughs> <laughs> He'll even give you a yard sign steak, because we didn't buy the steak, we couldn't afford it. <laughs> so we're, we went around and we told people to donate the steaks. <laughs> I, uh, I have a pollinator yard the old-fashioned way because it's there are lots of weeds and stuff that grow in my yard. <laughs> yes. uh, so you're a junior? I'm a junior. What do you do on Tuesday nights? Um, I rehearse. For, I'm at a show right now, so um, I rehearse and then get home and do homework. Yes. And the right question is, why do you ask? Yes. Yep. Oh, why do you ask? <laughs> well, it turns out our Conservation Commission has an opening, and they meet on Tuesday nights. So if you'd like to join that board, as long as you're at least serving out the rest of your high school career in Granby, there might be an opportunity for you to yeah, get more involved. That sounds wonderful. So talk to Mr. Roberts about it, and if it's something you're still interested in, He'll tell you how to get us an application. Sure, thank you so much. That's a good idea. All right, anybody else? How can we get a sign? See, any of the commissioners, we all have them. Okay, I want to see. Do you want to just take one now? Well, I'll buy it. Well, I know where to find you. Here, I'll just leave them here. You can figure it out. Okay. All right. Griffin, thank you very much. Great work. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a commission meeting now, so. That's oh, right. oh, sorry. You got out last week. Oh. <laughs> well, you're right on time. Yes. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right. The next item on the agenda is consideration and approval of the fiscal year 2023-24 Board of Select and Budget. Um, we prepared the resolution. We did make a couple small changes. Um, so I want to just pass out a new memo. And then just for your books, I'm going to go back. Back. Uh, I'm going no. here. Sorry. No, it goes back. Did you get one, Scott? No. Oh. Thanks, Mark. Okay. This way? Is there enough for the, there should be. For the audience? Um, you made 10, right, Kimmy? So. I believe there's enough for Mike. Maybe he'll want to see it. Thank you. There's like two there, I think. 
Do you want me to pass these down? This. Yeah. These, please. Actually, let me take four. Go guys, side, side. And one more to the backup to the capital pages themselves. Let's, um, let's start here. What, what sure. is different about the menu? What, what's different than the one they have? Sure. Can you, um, just, if you can give them a brief, most of the numbers are the same. I think the capital equipment improvement fund number is different on page two. Correct? Yes, the revision, yes. Yeah, just the um, just the other funds, the capital equipment slash improvement. In the memo in your packet, it was uh, the number was two seven eight seven five nine seven, and this is two seven six eight three nine seven. It was reduced uh, slightly because. Um, we have revised the lease payments based on the 2023 uh, fiscal year purchases, and we removed fifty thousand dollars from reval in year one. So there were some comments that we could budget for reval later on in a little bit larger uh, number, and then putting the fifty thousand every year. And there was a revisor, right, revisement in the uh, lease payment, so that's what brought. Uh, that number down. But in terms of the other, the expenditures and the other revenues, we did make the changes, as you saw in your original, from our meeting Thursday night, we added back um, the 5% of the collectors and the 10% of the uh, director's public works salaries. We're gonna bring those in from the sewer utility fund instead of um, reducing the general fund contribution to those salaries and we made a slight adjustment in uh, regular payroll. So those are the changes that we did. In this, and that was the, the corresponding adjustment in the sewer utility fund. Mm -hmm. So those were just the, s the small changes from our last meeting. All the other numbers are the same on Yes. The and then uh, starting with this one, that's the title of Town of Randy Proposed Capital Improvement mm -hmm. Program. What, what's different on this? This was... Um, this is the rebound. Yeah, the rebound number. So we just tried to give you, um, you know, updated sheets. We also um, smoothed the out years a little bit uh, on the second packet, the E149. If you recall, some of the... the Last year got a little bit too, too thick, if you will, for too, too many projects. So we smoothed those out a little bit. But year one, 2024, is the same. Anybody need a little more time to digest those? Seeing the pages flipping, we'll do that. We'll give you another chance.
give you the thumbs up when you're ready. So um, I tried to take some notes as well during the public uh, workshops just on what I thought we had uh, might be remaining open issues. So the, it's certainly not necessarily a complete list, but um, maybe we can start there. My, my thought is just kind of go through them one at a time. If we have consensus, we can just figure out where we're at on each one. So the first three or four, it looks like Eric and Kimmy took care of in the, in the new memo uh, we talked about. Um, Rerouting the communication fund, which is reflected here, right? Yes. Um, uh, handling the costs allocated to the sewer fund, which is handled here. Um, changing the car tax reimbursement, adjusting it. I have a question about that. Sure. In the memo, is that number that we're adding, the million one, mm -hmm. is that right or should that be net of what we already had in the book? No, that, that is the new number. So last year we had like 793, I believe it was. 795. 795, and the new number from the state is the 1-1. One one. So it, it wouldn't be a, a variance or anything, it would be a totally new number that they're offering us. Right, so the new number here for the, the intergovernmental inter revenues wouldn't just be 7841 plus 1-1, one one, right? It is, I think, right? Do those two numbers equal eight, nine, four, one, seven, nine, nine? Okay. I guess what I'm concerned, just trying to confirm, and that's probably because I don't understand it. So it's, it's C43, right? Mike? It's because last year there was nothing for the contracts yeah. in our budget. It didn't come forward so zero. until... Oh, I got it. It's All right. I got it. So Kelly corrected me. So we, I was looking at the wrong line. I was looking at estimated, not what you put in the proposed budget. Okay, so that's been handled. Um, does anybody have any concerns about any of those changes, which are already reflected in the proposed no. resolution? No, I think that's consistent with the notes that I had taken during the workshop for those items. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So in no particular order of the other ones, I had three more that I thought um, were open or to figure out whether they are or not. The first was just the capital plan, which I guess starts on D135. On D-135, we've already changed the property valuation number to zero. That's already reflected. Um, what I'd like to go through is just see where everybody else stands on the rest of the numbers there, because um, I know we had a fair amount of discussion about it. Um, I can start. You guys want me to start, or does somebody else want to start? So I think I said this in the in the workshop. The, the first line, the road maintenance and improvement, I'm comfortable with. I'm, I'm comfortable with increasing it as we've proposed in the budget. Um, um, for the reasons we've already talked about, I don't think we have to go into more detail. Um, the next line item, I would be comfortable holding it flat, the culverts and bridges. I think we asked the question of, of Kirk, and you can correct me if we didn't hear the answer right, that there's nothing pressing in the first year that we would be prejudiced by. Um, I know there's the Silver Street Bridge, but if we somehow didn't get to that, it, it's not a 
safety issue, right? No, correct. Okay. So keep it. That would be a flat proposal right now, fifteen thousand. And just just me, just me. So okay. we're going to go through everybody. Um, I was okay with the revised capital number, which actually went down a little bit. Um, education didn't change, so we were fine with that. Um, we've already changed the property valuation, and um, I personally think the same thing on the public facilities as I thought on the culverts and bridges. Um, it, this is kind of a transition year for us as we're transitioning from the, the way we've always done it in the past to try to look out with a a more tuned eye uh, in a combined budget with the, uh, um, that may not be the exact words, with the Board of Ed. Um, and so I know there were some questions about a little bit more detail exactly what we're doing and because we haven't fully vetted those, again, I'm comfortable holding that flat because I think it kind of gets us through what we absolutely have to get through and if there's something we didn't predict we could, there's other ways we could do through special appropriations if we had something. So, that's where I stand on those. Let's go flip a coin. We'll start with you, Mark. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm in agreement also from the discussions we've had in prior years and in this year on the um, increasing the road maintenance number. Um, I understand the decrease in the property valuation for this year. Um, certainly supporting the education technology with the same levels as last year. The, I think already documented items for the capital equipment and I would agree with your statement on the bridges curves or bridges drainage and culverts where we uh, I think we had asked for uh, more definition so holding it flat this year and working towards those projects when they're better defined works for me and what about the public facilities maintenance and improvement uh, I think that falls under the same description for me as the culverts, bridges, and drainage. Okay. Peggy? Um, I agree with all of those things. I think the road maintenance um, and road improvement is very important. It's something that impacts virtually everyone, so I'm okay with that, and that as well as the other. I won't just repeat them all. Okay. okay. Kelly? Um, yeah, I'm fine with just one question on the um, maintenance and improvements. If we keep it flat, what is that number? 54. 54? Okay. And is, is it your thought, Mark, that if something comes up in the public facilities maintenance that we could address it another way? Yeah, I mean, we already, somebody in the room, correct me if I'm wrong, we already have a fair amount of flexibility in this fund to do that. Okay. And I, I think if we had to go outside this fund and, and had to make a special appropriation request to the Board of Finance, that that's certainly a route we can do. Okay. Right? I just made that up, so if anybody, <laughs> anybody in the room disagrees. No, we do have to All right. Sorry. All righty then. <laughs> so, Kelly, you're on the same page as everybody else so far? Yes. Okay. And Fred? Yeah, that was my only concern is that there's room. Um, let's let's make let's make a separate motion on that before we get to the last two, just so it's probably easier for Scott and Kimmy and Erica to follow. So should we do a TA on this page? Like a T, like a tentative, like a, a motion that page is D one thirty five is changed. Yeah, there. Okay. Since I started the conversation, I'm, I have no problem making the motion. You guys want to do that and see where you stand? All right. So I will move that we uh, change the numbers on page D135 as follows. And we change the culverts, bridges, and drainage to 15,000 for this fiscal year 23-24. That we now let's say it just so it's clear, that we change the property valuation from 50 to zero for the same fiscal year, and that we change the public facilities maintenance and improvement from 106 to 54. I'll 
I'll second a motion. Yeah. No, I'm just going to get it. So you have the grand total for this year's capital budget at two million five hundred thousand five hundred ninety-seven dollars. I'll confirm with the finance director. If you say so. Um, I have two million five thirty-one three ninety-seven. All right, go for third. See, that's different than what you got, Mark, right? Yeah. I'm going to check my numbers as, uh, versus the uh, finance director. What numbers did you guys get? Give me. Two, five, thirty-one, three, ninety-seven. Okay. It's $1 for the road maintenance, 15000 for the bridge, four sixty-two, three ninety-seven for the capital equipment, $1 million for wait, the wait. education. Oh, that's I see the difference. Yeah. Kimmy's right, because that's from her that's previous meeting. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, so. oh. All right, so uh, let's go back. Kimmy, what's that number again the, for, the for the capital equipment? It's 462397. Okay, so let me go back and amend my proposed motion. So that the motion would be to change the numbers on D135 to a million for roadway maintenance, 15,000 for culverts, bridges, and drainage. 462,397 for capital equipment. This is perfect. Zero for property valuation and 54,000 for public facilities maintenance and improvement. The other numbers remaining the same. I second that new motion. Second the new one. Okay. All right. Your number's the same as hers now? Yeah. Okay. Any further discussion on that motion? All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right. The next thing I had on my list, which again may or may not need to be on the list, was the internship program on, day, it's on page D59. Mark, you can start on your end if you have comments. Okay. Um, I think that for the value that the town of Granby received for the work that we had paid for on the interim, I think there are better places we could spend the money. And I would make the motion that we strike that line item. I'll second. All right, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion on that? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right, the last um, item I had on my list, which is certainly not necessarily the last item, um, go around one more time and see if anybody else has anything else, was just, um, Although it wasn't formally presented in the uh, budget book, um, we have a, a, an expected need of about $30,000 for increased inspection services, for the um, increased activity inspections for this year. So um, one thought I had was to take the money you just found and, and approve. But switch it. Yeah, switch it over. Maybe not all of it, maybe to make it a round number, just say we'll put 15000 in and then manage against that. But be yeah, fine. because if we find that we need the money in the next few weeks, towards the end of, well, by the end of the fiscal year, we could see what we have going if we need a supplemental or if it can wait until July, you know, that kind of thing. We'll see how, how we can make that work. And as long as we know we have some funds for next fiscal year, I think we should be okay. 
Yeah, and conversely for me, that just feels comfortable because it, yeah. Frankly, it keeps the pressure on them to try to, to yeah. minimize those expenses if they can. And if we can't, we'll, we know where to go to find the money. Would you like, if we could just, if that motion passes, let's talk just quickly about, Kimmy, what page would that go in? Uh, in the building uh, department? It's the building department. So that would be personal property protection, D95. So you would put it in D95, temp part 10. 10. Maybe we could just say in the motion that that's where it will go. Yep. Okay. yep. The, give me, a, is that right? Yes. D95, the building part time. Inspection? Yes, part time. All right, somebody want to make that motion? I'll make a motion that we add 15000 to the part-time building inspector line on page D95. Second. Any other further discussion? All right, all those in favor of that? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right. We'll flip sides and go down this way, Fred. Was there anything else that you wanted to discuss further before we take the final motion? No. No. Uh, as I was uh, sharing, at least in the room, the uh, items that we went through on the three days, uh, there were a couple of questions. I just wanted to make sure you said, and you, Fred, you, Mark, and you, Fred, since you were on the phone, uh, got satisfactory answers to each of the points that you guys have brought up. I know in the uh, room we always had a chance to discuss. I don't know that you had that opportunity. So if there's any question on any of the items before we make the motion. I'm comfortable with making the motion. I had some questions about the auto tax, yeah, but that got cleared up, so. Okay. Then, uh, no, I didn't have any others. All right, so I have two quick technical questions before we make the big motion. Um, one is on the memo, the, the last whereas, is that, that's a typo, right? Shouldn't that be the last fiscal year, 2022? Because we're saying it's a percentage increase over last year's budget, right? Shelby, to reflect a percentage increase over, shouldn't that be last? 23-22, right? Yeah, 22-23. Yeah. Everybody see what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. The yeah. last whereas, should that be? Yes. 22-23. Okay. 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 And then, um, if uh, we're comfortable when we make the motion with leaving the two, the three blanks, for Kimmy to and Erica to fill in? Yeah. Because I'll have to do the calculation based on what we just did. Right. All right. So I would uh, need a. Scott, you want somebody to read all the whereases or just the resolved part? Um, I'm going to get a version that's filled in after the fact. Yes, sir. And I'm okay if you just want to read, read the resolved. Okay. So would somebody make a motion um, to, so the, I guess we would start with the now, therefore it is resolved. Yep. Now, therefore, it be resolved that the Board of Selectmen forwards a proposed 2023-24 revenue budget to the Board of Finance consisting of the following items. Property tax, intergovernmental revenues, local department revenues, and fund transfers. Did you want me to read the numbers or? The be the total. Okay. For a total of ten million four hundred twenty-two thousand two hundred and twenty dollars. Probably ought to go to the next page and read oh, the rest of it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but fair warning, the totals here won't be right. The we'll totals to, aren't going to work. Okay. Yeah. We'll just have to say that the totals to be filled in. That by. the Board of Selectmen forwards a proposed 2023-24 expenditure budget to the Board of Finance consisting of the following items. Uh, general fund expenditures, administration, personal property protection, 
public works and environment, libraries, recreation, and social services, capital budget, and debt service. This total will be different? Or? Yeah, I would just say subject to the previous motions we approved. Okay, subject to the previous motions that we had approved. And that the Board of Selectmen forwards a proposed 2023-24 other funds budget to the Board of Finance along with a 2024 to 2028 capital improvement program consisting of the following. The other funds, dog fund, recreation events, sewer utility, capital equipment and improvement, education quality and diversity, solid waste fund, and the 2024 to 2028 capital improvement program. Again, those numbers will be subject to change based on our Right. The the change a little bit. All right. I need a second to that motion. Second. Right. Any other further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Nobody opposed. Thank you guys very much for that. I you know it's a lot of work that goes into this. Kimmy, go ahead. Can I have follow-up questions? For your capital budget, C used to decrease significantly, so the general fund funding of the capital budget will decrease instead of 2.3. Um, can I just give you a recommend number? It will be $2,050,000 based on, based on the number that you just brought. So we took out 150. 250. 250. 250 lower. Yeah. Okay. So again, I, I think the motion we approved was subject to you filling in the numbers okay. after you've double checked them. Okay. We're all comfortable with that, I think, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. All right. <clears throat> Next item on the agenda is a town manager report. And this is our month where we talk about budget. Yep. Status. This is our second meeting of the month, so we do do that budget operations report. Again, things are looking Good, we are still a little short in our collection on prior year taxes, about $30,000, but we are planning to do a tax sale this spring, so we should be able to get close to that uh, budgeted number. What is a tax sale? A tax sale is when people owe taxes and they try to collect them and try to collect them and they do every means that we possibly can, get a marshal after them, that kind of stuff, and then all else fails. We so. have the right to sell that property. We don't like to do it. It doesn't happen very often. Um, it's not something that's pleasurable for anybody involved. Um, is that something, uh, this because I'm so brand done. new, ultimately would you bring an item before the, as you identified specifically which parcels for us to approve? Don't, I'm not I, suggesting I, you, no, no, I'm just asking. I have a feeling, <laughs> I have a feeling that the collector has the right to do that with yeah. her own powers. But I can double check. That's a good answer. If it's the correct answer. answer. All right, so I'm okay. sorry. No, it's okay. Um, the stiff, stiff continues to be strong. Our short term investment fund that, that we have with the state, Kimmy literally managed that money back and forth, um, really, you know, on a weekly basis or, or more. We're seeing rates 4.64%, um, so much higher than last year. and. We're getting really close to sixty-five to seventy thousand dollars a month now in revenue, where this budget has sixty-five thousand dollars, I believe, in the whole year. So we'll take it when we can get it. The last few years have been dry, <laughs> so um, nothing else really significant to report. Um, some grants are due to come in in April. Some things we haven't gotten from the state. Um, we've talked about the revenue sharing that came in unexpectedly. That state revenue sharing. About two hundred forty thousand dollars that helped us uh, offset any um, variance in the motor vehicle tax revenue loss um, that we did have this year that we experienced. So we know we talked about that we're going to have the million one in the budget uh, this year coming because OPM is doing everything one year behind. So even if our renal takes us below the cap, we it, it'll be next year that we sort of drop off, if you will. We'll still get that money this year, and it was a good recommendation by the board uh, finance chair to make sure that we, we calculated that into our, our revenue so that we don't have a hole. Um, you can see, again, our short-term investments, like I said, were up 
$17,000, so that's very helpful. Um, even though it looked ugly last week, we've had a really good winter. We, we really have. Um, today is spring. Let's hope that, that nothing else really comes along our, our way, but you can never say never. So um, we've not had a lot of uh, winter winter snowstorms to, to crunch the budget, except for areas where we need it. We did need salt. Uh, we have some issues with our salt account. So nothing concerning. Everything looks good in my opinion, and we can take questions. Go back down that side first. Any questions? Uh, no, I didn't have any questions this morning. Peggy? No questions. None for me. None for me. Yes. All right. Thank you, Erica. Next item on the agenda is the first selectman report. I have two quick things. Um, first, I want to um, thank, hopefully somebody will hear it, <laughs> all of our first responders for the um, for when you guys responded to the storm um, last week. Our ambulance Association, our fire department, our police department, our public works department. A tremendous amount of coordination went into um, getting not everything cleaned up, but helping people people safe so thanks again great work please pass that on to your teams and then um, you guys probably noticed our student liaison wasn't here tonight he um, had a basketball banquet so hopefully that's going good for him but he did tell us in his communication to us that the empty bowls event that he reported on last time is actually been rescheduled to April 24th so anybody who is Planning on attending that or had made note of that, make note of that change. I did notice that the sign on the green still says March 24th, so somebody oh. may want to oh. revise that. Okay. All right. All right. That's all I had. Um, let's start down this end. Fred, did you have anything? Nothing for me. Okay. Kelly? Nothing for me. Peggy? Nothing to me. Mark. Nothing for me, thank you. Okay, next item on our agenda is the public session. Any of you all want to address this? All right. The last item on our agenda is the executive session. And I would like us to go into executive session to discuss a personnel issue, just the board of selectmen. So, is anybody willing to make that motion? I'll make a motion to go into executive session for a personnel matter. Second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right, we'll head into executive session. Thank you, everybody. Good night.